Creating a Sales Forecast Where does forecasting fit into an organization and how can Sage CRM help? This is John Finch. He works as a sales representative under Susan May at Panoply Tech. John can get a good idea of what is in his sales pipeline from opportunities. This shows all John's sales opportunities which are in progress. John can get an even better idea of the value of his pipeline by working with sales forecasting in forecasts. This is where he can forecast for a specific quarter, play out different forecasting scenarios, compare it to his quota, and submit his forecast to Susan, who manages forecasting for the team. If you haven't worked with sales forecasting before, there are a few administration settings worth checking first. Go to My Profile Administration, Users, Users. Enter Finch in last name and click Find. Scroll to the bottom of the screen. Check User Access to Forecasting. Check Forecast Settings. For example, which month is Q1 in your organization? And Currency Exchange Rates. Let's get John started with his first forecast. From Forecasts, click New Forecast. Set the quarter you want to forecast for. This shows John's opportunities listed under the month in which their close by date falls. Let's start with the first opportunity. John can set this to one of three different scenarios to include in his forecast. He's pretty sure this business will close, so he sets it to commit. Click the refresh button next to the month it will close in and the forecast figures are updated. Let's take a closer look at those figures. It is always the weighted forecast which goes into the forecasting figures. The weighted forecast figure is the forecast value multiplied by the certainty percentage from the opportunity. Setting the scenario to commit adds the weighted forecast figure to all three totals, commit, likely, and best case. Setting the scenario to likely will only include the figure in the likely and best case totals. Setting the scenario to best case will only include the figure in the best case total. This gives John a range of possible outcomes to compare against his quota. Opportunities which are not in the forecast currency are automatically converted using the exchange rates set in Sage CRM. If your user preference currency is different to the forecast currency, you'll see additional converted totals in the top panel. John goes through all his opportunities for this quarter and completes his forecast. The quarterly totals give him a much clearer picture of where he stands and which deals to focus his efforts on. Click Save. It's now time for John to submit his forecast to his manager. John completes a final check, then clicks Save and Submit. John can use the Forecast History tab to review his submitted forecast as a static snapshot in time.